From Miami Dade, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. We're live in Southwest Miami Dade. I'm Gio Benitez, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Gio. And Governor Romney is being welcomed to Coral Gables right now by protesters. Dozens of people carried signs outside the University of Miami campus saying, We are the 47% and we are not victims. In response to Governor Romney's comments about the 47% of Americans who pay no income taxes. Now, in this event here at the University of Miami, the CBS evening extremely important for Mitt Romney he doesn't expect uh, expect to win the majority of the Hispanic vote he'd be lucky to even win 40 percent of that vote but this evening he will have a chance to speak to more Hispanic voters than at any point in this campaign we are 47%. A small but noisy group of protesters were kept at a distance outside the Bank United Center. Let's talk about the protesters. Yes, they are out front, but there's also one protester literally flying over this campus. It's one of those banner planes, and it's pulling a sign that says, you can see, hey, Mitt, we're voters, not victims, responding to Mr. Romney's comments in that video that recently surfaced in which Romney said Obama supporters consider themselves victims and are dependent upon the government. About 35, 40 protesters are outside. Inside the field at the Bank United Center, Mr. Romney will take part in Univision's Meet the Candidates event. He'll be interviewed by the news anchors. It'll be taped before live audience and then broadcast this evening. Now, his comments in that video, it, they may get a question or two at tonight's event. Meantime, protesters are hoping Mr. Romney drives by them. It's important for our voice to be heard uh, and for him to, you know, uh, you know, maybe as he drives by or maybe to hear from, uh, you know, folks who uh, are his supporters that not everyone is happy about his plans. So tonight, Mr. Romney will take part in this event. Again, Univision's Meet the Candidates. Tomorrow night, President Barack Obama's turn.